Hello and welcome to episode number 15 of the brand new video series, Five Lessons Learned, brought to you by BookThinkers, where each and every week, the team and I will discuss the top five lessons learned from a book that we've read and loved. This week, we're going to discuss Rise and Grind by Damon John. We all know Damon from the Shark Tank. Damon is a brilliant entrepreneur and he's a fantastic personality. This book is action packed, so without further ado, let's jump into lesson number one. Lesson number one is going to act as a primer for the rest of the lessons we are going to talk about today. And that's that each and every one of us has 24 hours each and every day to be successful. Damon John, world renowned entrepreneur and someone who has accumulated a massive amount of wealth and power. He only has 24 hours each and every day, just like you. So this lesson is something that'll help us identify a little bit more with people like this and understand that they're just like us. They have the same brains and all they did was execute a series of strategies over a long period of time and they turned out to be successful. You can be just like them if you utilize your 24 hours in the best and most efficient way. Lesson number two is something that we've definitely covered in other lessons and a lot of people talk about this, but it's such a key foundation to success that we feel like repeating it here. And this is a direct quote from Damon, is that the time will never be perfect, so you'll have to make perfect use of your time. What he means by that is that there is an opportunity cost associated to each and everything that you do every single day. If you choose to watch TV, for instance, you're choosing to neglect something else. Well, what is your next best option from watching TV? Is it redoing your website, answering some emails, some better customer service, improving your product or service? I mean, there are so many things you can do between sun up and sun down. You just need to rise and grind all day long. And that's Damon's point. The time is never going to be perfect, so you have to make perfect use of your time, and that's why people like this are successful, and that's why people like us sometimes aren't successful. Lesson number three is an efficiency hack that Damon calls the one-touch rule. It basically means clean as you go. If an email comes onto your desk, take care of it immediately. Otherwise, you're spending twice the amount of time if you have to then reread it, understand it, and take care of it later, right? Mathematically, it makes sense. But the other thing is that it's easier to take things as they come, clean as you go, rather than wait. And I love the analogy of, let's say, dishes. So if you eat breakfast and it's a bowl of oatmeal, we all know that it's easier to wash the oatmeal out of the bowl, take care of the mess right after you eat it rather than let it harden over time and try to take care of it later. Always clean as you go, always touch it once, never twice, and that's lesson number three. Lesson number four is my favorite lesson from this read. It really is. And that's that success is not a destination, success is an outcome. What Damon means by saying it's not a destination is that it's not just going to fall on your lap eventually. It's not something that's just down the road that you haven't hit yet and you can continue doing what you're currently doing every day and just going to find success. It's engineered, it's an outcome. It's a result of the inputs, right? And those inputs are successful actions taken day after day after day month after month, year after year, and you will engineer your own success. So that's lesson number four. Stop being lazy. Success is not a destination. It is an engineered outcome. Lesson number five, stop being fancy. Damon tells us to stop being fancy. And what he means by that is stop posting pictures of yourself saying, hustling 24 seven entrepreneur life. Stop posting pictures of yourself playing ping pong at 4.30 in the afternoon. Actually put your phone down, put in the work, hustle as hard as you can. So unless your brand is about being luxurious, don't post pictures of your car. Nobody cares. People need to replicate positive activity, not bragging and being fancy. Stop being fancy, put in the work. So that's lesson number five. First off, if you've made it this far, thank you so much and we hope you've enjoyed the top five lessons today 
from Rise and Grind by Damon John. Number two would be if you have any book recommendations you'd like to see us review or just check out in general, please email us, DM us, let us know, drop a comment. We'd be happy to review any book that you send our way. And then last but not least, you should go out there and check out bookthinkers.com. It's currently a web-based application that allows users to create a virtual library, share it with their friends, log their book notes, their biggest takeaways, and also set systematic reminders so that they can retain more information from the books they love. We also have mobile applications coming out soon. So with that being said, go out there, read, retain, share, grow, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.